Okay guys, we're gonna run through my gardens real quick. I know somebody asked for an update. These are the alligator plants with a four o'clock in the middle of it. This is an oak leaf hydrangea, which is now starting to bloom, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, we got this other tiny little hydra regular hydrangea, eensy cute. And then all the pine cone lilies are coming out. We got uh, glorious lilies. And we've got some caladiums. You can see those caladiums coming up. And this one here is in bloom. There we go. And pretty. More caladiums. And then a lizard down here. I don't think you can hardly see them. I don't know how well they're going to grow. But those are the uh, garlic that I, and one little blueberry. This was a big blueberry tree that I transplanted, but it decided it didn't want to make it. Okay. We got this pecan tree growing next to the house, but I got to figure out how to get it out of there because it's growing next to the gas meter. And the roses, some of them are looking a little peaked. These are the roses I transplanted. There's the magnolia tree. They're the ones that I transplanted. And I found out that I don't have enough iron. I did just fertilize them the other day. There's not enough iron in the soil. So, got some more pine cone lilies. Some of them growing outside the box. My orange tree. More glorious lilies, olive tree, more caladiums that are getting ready to bloom, uh, more pine cone lilies. This right here is sunflowers, another caladium, and tangerine tree. This is my roundabout. There's four o'clocks. Uh, I forgot the name of the purple ones again. The purple flowers. It's, then you get your wandering Jew. More four o'clock. And of course, the elephant ear. And look how big you've gotten already. Now, I found out that these things will bloom. I just got to get the right fertilizer on it. Okay, and over here we have more four o'clock asparagus lily. This little thing here that is a angel trumpet that I had cut off from across the street and got it to uh, root. More four o'clock, another little hydrangea that's hanging in there. Regular ginger that I bought at the grocery store. More alligator plants. These are all, these right here are all dwarf bananas. Got them from my friend next door. She had them all in one pot. I mean, Ned saved them all. And Ned brought me this tree. Uh, I know it looks like an olive tree, but it's not. I can't remember the name of it, but hopefully it'll bloom. Uh, more four o'clock hibiscus. Unfortunately, the hibiscus has bloomed out. Another glorious lily. Those are my asparagus ferns, some aloe. Another form of alligator plant down there. My mother of thousands. We got the name of that one. More aloe. Uh, that's my devil's ivy in there. And as you can see, it's gone all the way down there and it's growing over here. All kinds of four o'clock sweet peas. And uh, glorious lilies. Mums. Can't remember the name of that one either. Some more roses. My shrimp plant back there amongst all the glorious lilies. Look at all the glorious lilies. These things have literally taken over everything. I mean everything, everywhere. There's nothing but glorious lilies. Roses, canna lilies back there. More glorious lilies. You can see the philodendrons back there. Uh, my elkhorn fern and my begonias. Uh, 
periwinkles are just absolutely going nuts. Another caladium. Some more of the purple stuff. And over here. Start over in this. Let's start down. Let's go down here. Okay. Got two little hibiscus that I thought were dead that are struggling, that are coming back. There's that one. And there's this one. Looks like he gotten clipped by the weed whacker this morning. Uh, and here we have all kinds of lilies. And yeah, more of the purple stuff. Uh, this right here is another sunflower. Along with this here. Now these little shorter ones are called dwarf sunflowers and this is the imperial sunflower. And we got the glads back here that are getting ready to open. And then we got our regular begonias here and the empress here. They all took a beating here not too long ago. This is my Texas sage in full bloom. Aren't those cute little flowers? I just think that's so precious. And back here, oh look, we have a lily blooming. These are uh, some more glorious lilies. This is a lantana. Oh, hush dog. That's my dog, Oliver, huffing and puffing. He likes to huff and puff. And that's, this right here is either, this little vine thing, is either a wisteria or a uh, trumpet. The tomatoes, elephant, lonely elephant here that got left. There's a can of lily over there that got left. There's the lily. Oh, hush, dog. That dog will bark to hear an ant bark. And then we have this other last little one right here that has mostly hibiscus. And I see buds. No, I don't see buds, just new leaves. Not I've seen buds. Another four o'clock. This lily's already bloomed as long as well as this down here. That's a little that daffodils. They bloom first. And another hibiscus. Once these all get in bloom, folks, I will give you, this one's got buds on it, I will give you uh, another tour once it's all in full color. All right. Oh, one last thing. Let's go down here. These two have got buds all over them. We have this hibiscus right here. You see all the buds on it? I don't know if you can see that dark color on that one down there. That's a blue hibiscus. And this one here, I know it's got buds on it. I seen them earlier. Look at that. This one is, it's in the same family as the hibiscus, but it's called an Allura or something like that. But it's white with a bright red center. So we'll see all that sometime soon. All right, guys, y'all take care. Love y'all. Bye.